We are not live. We are not live, but we are alive, which is a positive. <laughs> Hello, lovely Gary. How are you? I'm all right, Rachel. Thank you. Um, yeah, really quite, quite feeling quite good here, really. I think even though we're still in March, I think we've got April showers early. That's what it's feeling like. See you. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you very much, Michael Fish. If anybody <laughs> knows who he is, he was a weatherman. <laughs> you got you it wrong, are. didn't he? I think you got it wrong. Anyway, allegedly, I'm not saying anything. Um, well, lovely Gary, lovely YouTuber. Hello to you. Nice to have your company again in our tea time tutorial. We have our tea. Gary's nearly drunk is because we've been gabbing, gossiping, yeah. chatting before this recording. But. Mm. We are here with our tea. We have also got some lovely crafty items, which you can see at the bottom of your screen there, because this is all about a lovely time to be creative. It is a 20 minute time for you to just step away from everything that is bothering you at the moment in the world, whether that is money or friendship, relationship problems, dog problems. I mean, I don't know, whatever problems you're having at the moment, step away, leave it all behind, give yourself 20 minutes of space. And that's what we do here in our Tea Time Tutorials. Have a look through because I think now we're on 33 or 34 Tea Time Tutorials. Wow. So there are loads of things for you to play along with um, and be creative and you don't need a lot of equipment I have got some children's paints some black uh, pens here and some paintbrushes and I was only instructed to get them together about 25 minutes ago so if you are a bit arts and crafty in your house or you've got some kids in the house you can generally steal some of their supplies and then you're away so I will put the time code below and you can skip straight to the crafting if you want to to see what we're going to be getting up to this week but if you would like to stay with us for the next few minutes we always do a bit of mindfulness uh, before our crafting just to make it a bit more zen a bit more interesting a bit different uh, to the crafting videos out there so I usually give Gary a quote I haven't got a quote but I have got um a sort of perspective on something that I was reading about this week. And I think it's very interesting, Gary, and I don't know where it's going to go, this conversation. But have you ever got angry with someone or accused them of something? And then later, maybe you've realised it's because it's something that you do that drives you mad. So, for example, if someone says to you, oh, you know, I don't like the way that you behave like this. I can't think of a behavior, but, you know, you, um, you know, you, I don't know, you judge people. You judge people too quickly or something like that. I think so often when we do that, it's because that is the quality in ourselves that we really don't like. And that's what makes you pick up on it. Spidey sense. You see it in someone else. It makes you go, Why? Because it's something that you do. Do you agree with me on that one? Yes. Yes. I think yes. Um, and actually, probably that's why it annoys us when we see it in other people. Especially, it, It's because it actually, it's what we see in ourselves. It's a reflection in ourselves. And it may be a part of ourselves that we know, really, we need to change that. It's not particularly good. So, yeah, no, I agree. It's very easy to see faulting other people but in fact those faults are probably our own faults in a way you know yeah. so I think a lesson from that is it was just something I picked up on and as you say we talk about mindfulness and we talk about you know how we can improve ourselves here and I just thought I'd put that out there for some for people to think about the next time that if they pick up on someone's behavior and it's something that someone is doing that they don't like it might not be the case it might be you know that, that's that you know if someone is a smoker and you go, I hate it when you smoke and you don't smoke. Clearly, that's not what we're talking about. But if it's a behavioural aspect, I think it's, it's really important to think, is this because this person is mirroring me and this is what I do? This is one of my behaviours? I think it's a really interesting insight. And I was actually thinking that this week because something happened to me this week where someone said, I don't like that about you. And I thought, well, that's interesting because you do exactly what I've just done. You just do it in a slightly different way. I won't ask for names. Or no. <laughs> but it's true, isn't it? Yeah, so then we yeah. have to work on ourselves and on that behaviour, don't we? Which is a whole yeah. other thing. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you're right. And it is examples of if perhaps, you know, you see, say, someone is so good at that. They're so good at it. They're almost like perfect. And, and that's like, oh, that really gets on my nerves. But actually... Maybe you always strive for perfection, like in yourself, I strive for perfection. Yeah. And I wish I could. And then sometimes I wish I could just like, oh, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It doesn't matter if it's slightly 
not right. And so that is sort of thing that you know that you need to correct in yourself. And when someone's doing it in front of you, thinking, oh, my God, that's what I do. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, so that's right, Gary. Like you say, it's two ways. It's either one, someone's doing something that's irritating you and have a look and see if you actually do it. It might just be slightly different the way that you do it. Um, mm. And the other thing is that if someone, as you say, you pick up, they're so good at something, is that a jealousy within you because you actually want to be like that yourself? Mm. These are all mm. key things that I think we have to ask ourselves. And I do think that as you go through life, people are sent to you to help you to teach to teach you these lessons and for you to learn lessons. And I think that some of the most troubling times in life is the time when you learn. And so actually the next time you feel irritated, this is a good thing because it's helping you to grow. Oh my God, what I know. Out there now? That's yeah. it. <laughs> I feel like singing the Christine Aguilera song now. Who is that girl looking straight back at me? But I can't sing it because YouTube will take me off. Yeah. So there you go. That is our bit of mindfulness. The next time someone irritates you, have a think about that. Is it because they are reflecting you? Mm -hmm. Anyway, right then, lovely Gary. So that's just an interesting observation. Uh, let's have a look at our crafting now and see what observations we can get from this one. Now, I have no idea what I'm going to do. You just told me to get my bits and pieces. And I have. What are we doing, Gary? Right, glasses are going on, glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, all right. So I thought, I was sort of thinking this morning what we're going to do. And there's a couple of things I'd seen online, which well, I'm going to introduce into this, this little mini project. But I wanted to celebrate, celebrate? <laughs> <laughs> are you celebrate? Celebrate, <laughs> celebrate, <laughs> East. Not Easter. What am I saying? I what to, is I wrong want to... with you, man? <laughs> I don't know. I need another cup of tea. Hang on a minute. Mm. Right, that's better. You're celebrating want... Easter. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that giving up something for Lent? I don't know where we're going with this. I wanted to celebrate spring coming because this morning here, I mean, I know that's in the, up, up in the Northern Hemisphere and maybe if you're down in Australia, it's autumn's on its way. But not that it's like that now out here. It's it was sunny and it was warm and all my bulbs are up, all my daffodils are coming out in the garden and it's all feeling really like oh spring's on its way and it's all going to get a little bit longer in the day and feeling really good. So I thought let's try and create something that even that really celebrates that that really manifests some really nice spring like feeling. Now if you are in the sort of like down the other side of the country where it might be going into autumn you can easily flip this on this head and you'll see when i start talking about things you just talk it in the context of going into autumn and winter time getting all cozy where i'm talking about going into springtime and getting all sunny so i created this like little doodly doodle doodle here in front of me now okay. the doodle is a ribbon so you're going to create a ribbon that runs down the page so we're going to create this ribbon and we're going to create that with a couple of pens. And it reminds me when I was at when we were at school, we used to do this with two pens. We used to actually tie or tape two pens together and write and draw with them. I don't know. If, did you ever do that, Rachel? I might have done. It's ringing bells, ringing bells in okay. the air. So we're going to go back to that. So we're just going to create a ribbon that you can go off and you can start drawing with two pens stuck together. You can write your name with two pens stuck together. And it's it looks quite fun. Um, we're also going to introduce colours for us or you as an individual out there in YouTube land that represent the time of year for you. So if this is springtime, you might want to use springtime colours. But if you're maybe in autumn, you might want to think of more autumnal colours and sort of more autumnal type of feelings to those sort of like things that you put down on the page. We've got a tumbling ribbon which we've then just made some marks in, some little doodle marks. And then we're going to throw some bits of paint onto it. We're going to paint it first of all very quickly, but then we're going to wet it and we're going to paint it again, flick some paint on it, dry it. And then those little flicks become little tumbling flowers that are coming into the ether, which again is all about bringing in the springtime feeling into this piece of work. I've also put some words on as well. So you can put some affirmations or you can put some words like I put. This is why I'm all getting tongue tied is because I was thinking I've written Easter. I've written things like spring is coming. The sunshine is coming. Return of the summer. 
growing plants. That's all about what I do during the spring. So it's all about looking forward to being more outdoors, I suppose, really, and really enjoying and really celebrating the sunshine coming and the springtime. So, OK, are you ready to get started then, Rachel? Yes. And do you know what I see in that as well in your painting there, which is lovely, by the way? I see it's almost like a sort of staircase that you're uh, meandering mm. as well through into the spring. You know, it's like we're walking yeah. into spring and walking through. Yes. Yeah, it could be. be. It could be. Or like sort of a piano keyboard, sort of like sort yes. of coming down. It could be, you know, if you did this in sort of black and white and white with black little bits in it, it would look like a keyboard as well, wouldn't it, really? Yeah. So, yeah. OK, right. I'll put that to one side. Let's see how let's see how this one turns out. Do another one. So I've got my paints, got my watercolour paints. <laughs> and I've got two jars of water here in focus. So I've got two jars. Now, if anyone's done any painting with me before, I always suggest having two jars of water. One for the dirty water, which we're going to wash our paint, uh, uh, paintbrush out in, but one with the clean water. And in fact, the clean water one, I'm going to save. So try not to put a paintbrush in that at the moment. I want you to keep that as clean as possible. And I want you to have maybe a couple of brushes. We're going to have a couple of brushes, a thin little brush, and a thicker brush like that. The thicker brush, well, you've already got it. If you've got a thicker brush, don't worry if you haven't, but I'm just going to put the thicker brush in the clean water already. I don't need, that's going to sit there for a minute. We also need some tape. I've got some masking tape, it could be sellotape, and you need some pens. Um, these pens, they could be biros, ink pens. These are these sort of like waterproof little um, pens that you can get. Um, you could also, you could, you need, what you need is, what we're going to do is we're going to fix these two pens together, but I wanted them, I want them sort of spaced apart. So you could either put something in the middle, like a, a, a rubber, or you could put another pen. So you could have three pens, but only one of them's upside down. Only one, only the two on the end are going to have their tops off. So I'm going to take their little caps off, so two pens, and I've got my pen in the middle. Now I've got to tape these together. Now I don't know if you remember doing this at school. Did you ever do it, Rachel? I can't Did remember you? doing this. Can't you remember. can't remember doing it. Okay, so I'll show you. Right, so I'm going to get some tape some tape down so now this might be the fiddliest bit this is probably the fiddliest bit of the whole thing that i've come up with today but i saw someone doing this on oh, instagram and i thought what a good idea and i think i'll take that idea and i will work my idea around it so okay three pens yeah like that a bit of tape all the way around like so just to hold it them in place like so have you got that? Have you done that, Rachel? I'm going to have a look at the screen and see if you're doing that. Oh, you can't see anything yet. <laughs> Hang on, I'll bring my screen. In. I'll add a spotlight. Right. Um, there we are. Okay. I'm, yeah. going add, I'm going to add another piece on the other side because I don't think that was strong enough. Yeah, it. that could. Yeah, it's almost like making like a little spaceship, really. Yeah. Do 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 do. do. I don't know what music that was. <laughs> Okay, right. Look All at right. <laughs> Look at that. That's good. That's good. So what are you going to do? So we're going to create this sort of ribbony effect coming down the page. Now, you've got to hold it rather than sort of like at an angle like you would normally write. You've got to hold it sort of upright because you want both pens to make contact from the top like that. Yeah. And then you're going to come down. You can spiral around. And you can spiral again like that. Let's see. Way. Oh, Rachel, that's Whoa. it. Get to the bottom. Wow. Oh, I've got envy. I have got envy. <laughs> you see, you're, now you need to start working on yourself, look, Gary, if you know. Um, I am. And then mine, look, I've missed it down here. Mine's gone and been bugged up and missed a bit. I'm going to put, I'm just going to rejoin that like that. Okay. I'm going to go, look at that. You wouldn't even know that that wasn't joined now. I've joined that. Okay. <laughs> Unless you rewind the video and then you will know. <laughs> Don't rewind the video, everybody. That's it. Right. So now what you're going to do is you've just got to put some stripes in it, first of all. So you're going to do stripes on the top and the bottom. Now, you can just do stripes and just follow the stripes. So as you go round and down and about, I'd say about maybe about half a centimetre apart, maybe a little bit more, maybe a quarter of an inch. And I'm just going to go all the way down. I'm going to go over so I can go over. If it's crossed, I'm just following that all down. So the stripes actually make it seem much more three dimensional. So when you come up to this side, I'm going to do just the stripes running through there or like that. Can you see how I've done that? 
like so. That's it, Rachel. Don't like Lovely. that. Yeah, keep, keep going. going yeah. Like that. Now what That's happens? it. Yeah. Not inside. So now below there. There. Below. No, not in there. Not in there. Below it. Here. No. No. <laughs> <Too long. laughs> Left a bit. Right a bit. <laughs> right. Go around a bit. Where? Oh, you here. Go, yeah. Yeah, you can go in there, like that. That's it. Yeah, but then that's going to cross over there. No, go underneath. So you've really got to think about this. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's not bad. <laughs> that's not quite right, is it? Not bad. No, that's all right. Right, I'm going to have to catch up with you because I've been watching what you've been doing. I'm a gog. With... <laughs> 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 right, let's go down the page. Ooh. So it does make you think to get it across, you have to. Yeah, I've done it. I've gone better at the bottom, but that's, there's something not right there with that top bit. I if think you go, like, that's it. That's what I was trying to take. Yeah. That's it. Yes. Look at that, Rachel. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, I can boogie. Your, yours is looking far more three-dimensional than mine now. I know. What can uh, I say? Uh, you're obviously teaching me too well, and now I'm becoming better than the teacher. Right. <laughs> it's natural talent, darling. It's natural talent. <laughs> That's your talent. Exactly. Okay, right. No more for the minute. We're going to now get our paint. So we've got our jam jar. We're going to have a jam jar ball to come into play. And yes. you've got to choose the colours which you think represent for you springtime. Or if it's another time of year, wherever you are, whatever time you're playing this, this YouTube clip, I want you to choose the colours that you think represent the season that you're currently in. OK, for yes. us at the moment, we're in springtime. Yes. So, and then you just, so pick up a colour. And my first colour, or oh, it's so obvious, it's yellow. So I'm yeah. going to do a really bright, bright yellow. It's got to be yellow for all my daffodils. And I am just going to just, and not fill in, when you, when you paint, you don't have to fill in, you just do a little dash, just a dash. It doesn't have to touch the edges. That's it, Rachel. So you don't exactly go down. So just sort of, not every other one, but just sort of put them in. Let's see how quickly you can go in. And I think, you know, we've discussed this before, that it's about leaving some space between the painted lines. It's not having to be really accurate. It's been a bit loose with the work. And get down to the bottom. So when you've done the yellow, what are the colours? I mean, I thought orange. Yeah, I think, I, orange. I think I started with a, that's more orangey for me. And... Then in, I also see a lot of like the, the crocuses, the purple crocuses, and there's some yeah. other little purple flowers out at the moment. So I did put, I chose purple. I just chose three sort of flower colours and then the, a lovely fresh green for all the fresh green that's coming out at the moment. So that's what I, so four, really four colours in total, to be quite honest. But just, and don't, you don't have to fill, there could be some gaps between. They don't all have to be filled in. Like that. Go on, quiet, Rachel. You're concentrating, aren't you? I enjoy myself. That's what's happening. I'm enjoying myself. I, this is where I always forget that it's actually for YouTube and I should be <laughs> documenting or something. But I've got to find. I've got to find my right. The right. Ah, here's a purple. I've got a nice purple here. Mm -hmm. That yellow looks the same colour. Really. What am I to put in there? Dash of green. Dash of green. Yes, so today started off like a spring day. What's it ended up like? I know. Raining. Horrid. Raining. So, um, yeah. 
That reminds me of that song. It's raining. Can't sing it. <laughs> get, you, get YouTube license on it. Boring. You will. <laughs> My love life is boring me to tears after all these years. Barbara Streisand. Oh, is it? Barbara Streisand is it? the summer. It's the one where it sort of speeds up when they go, enough is enough. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, stop it! I tell you, <laughs> you're gonna have an it's gonna be a new worm now. You're gonna be singing it all the time. So, oh, right. Oh, Rachel, you've nearly got there. Right, what are you putting in now? What color's that? I just wanted to put a bit of blue in. I don't know why. Blue? Oh, well, I was thinking blue like skies. an iris, like blue an iris, sky. blue skies, or an eye, beautiful iris. Yeah, there you are. Right, okay. Well, I love this. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's really quite quick. So um, it doesn't take very long at all. So now, now we can have a bit of fun now. So get your, the next one. So next one is, I'm going to get my, this is my jar, a jam jar of clean water and my bigger brush. What brush have you got, Rachel? Your uh, bigger brush. A bigger brush. I've got the one that I put into the water as you instructed. Yeah, it's what you've got. That's how that is. That one. Ah, perfect. Right, so you're just going to wet mm -hmm. the paper, which hasn't got any marks on it. So you can just wet the paper with the wet brush. I mean, if you haven't got a, another brush, what you could, you could use a bit of sponge. Um, I did even try this experiment where I just actually just sprayed the paper with mm. just a mister, you know, like a plant mister. Yeah. And it worked quite well, and it did work okay. It just um, did really sort of, go crazy with that this did go quite crazy but uh, no so the water's so it's quite wet now we're going to do that bit where we pick up colors on our paintbrush and we tap it so we're going to pick up the paint the paint on the paintbrush and we just tap from the with the other brush the other thin brush yes yeah so just tap it um what have we got here right and just tap it on the wet I'm so glad I wore a, a, a blue dress today, black dress, not and not <laughs> something bright yellow. Is it is it sort of doing little starbursts there, Rachel? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So when you've done that, I would sort of try. What I try to do is try to actually sort of use the colours that I've used in um, the ribbon running down. And so I've done it on the wet. Hopefully it's like, it's bled a little bit. And then the next thing you need to do is really just get a hairdryer. And I just want you to just give it a quick dry with the hairdryer. And the hairdryer will also move some of the paint as well, but that's fine. Let that happen. Go with that, because that, that can look quite nice as well. I'm just gonna plug in my hairdryer. It means I've got to go under the table, right? Oh, it's not my camera. There you are. So with the hairdryer, I just want you to give that a dry. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, right. And then with pick up your pen again. And then what we what I've done is if I show you back to on this piece that I've done. Where there's some of the little dots, then they become the center of flowers. Oh, so see. they become, so some of the dots, not all the dots, but some of the dots become center of little stylized little flowers. So you can just use those. So just use your set, those are like the centers. Is that a butterfly, Rachel? It is a butterfly. Hey. Yeah. Lovely. I think we will have the, the holidays coming up soon for the children. I think it's next here it's next week. So if you've got to consider activities for children as always 
all these sort of like mindful RT applications are so easy for young people to take have a go at as well yeah, it's you know it's right. not that messy it's quite easy it's really lovely thing yeah. to do actually i mean i used to i used to do love doing things like this with maddie when she was little but i would often not you know this i mean i wish i'd um had myself um all these years ago doing this because i would have had so many ideas of things to do with her because you know sometimes yeah. you, you just get a white piece of paper and you think well, what we're going to do now get the paints out what do you do but when you've got structured exercises like this, it's fabulous. That's something for you to follow. So now I've done my sort of like flowers in amongst the sort of and the uh, across the ribbon. I'm going to just write some words in. So anything, anything that comes to mind that you think as for the season, you know, so it was for me, but it was about, you know, Easter comes up in the springtime for me. <clears throat> but also the flowers bloom. Do one more flower. The sun shines. Plants grow. Days get longer. Yeah. What are you writing in there, Rachel? Well, I've written, the sun will shine, let it flow, yeah. learn to grow. Yes. Meander. These are just words that are literally coming out of my head in this second. Meander. Do you do more walks in the springtime when the weather's better? Would you go out for more walks or? Yes. And I've just written there, yeah. feel the ground. Because as you said that, I was thinking in my head about walking on the grass. Mm. Feel the ground. Yep, I've put treat every blade of, blade of grass with respect. Warm wishes. There you go. Lovely. Look at that. I like, actually, I like what you've done there, Rachel. It's really nice. Thank you. Yeah, I've, got, I've got the rip and envy there because it says yours is really good. <laughs> I have to say, I am very pleased with my rib on. Um, and I'm actually, I am very pleased with that. And you know what I was just thinking as we we're doing it there, Gary, is that I am becoming so free, you know, like drawing those yeah. butterflies. You know, in the past, I maybe would have thought, oh, what does a butterfly look like? Da, 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 da. This one at the bottom here, look, this butterfly here. I mean, there's only two bits of blue, but I just made him into a butterfly. Yeah. You know, and it's just about um, just having fun, isn't it? And, and just and just letting it letting it go, letting it flow. Yeah. As I've said, let it flow. <laughs> you know? Let it flow. Um, but, but there also, it, there is some learning in there as well, because... What I've got you to do is you try some different techniques with watercolour paints and also thinking about what is a group of colours which represent a atmosphere, a feeling, um, a time of year. So, yeah. you know, that's that's all those things which through fun and just expressing yourself, you've also started to focus on those sort of things, which I as a as a as a teacher is what I'd, I could teach you. But I do it subversively with just having fun. <laughs> yes and I'll tell you what that ribbon um is a brilliant idea I have to say I think those two pens together to create yeah. something like that I mean you could do like an amazing circle you know that and that then you could really take your time um painting each of those steps within the circle and then the words and everything I mean these are just fun things as you've seen there it's taken us 20 minutes it's taken us out of ourselves and just given us a lovely creative task to do and uh, and you could really play with that I think now you've learned to do those two pens together and it's just yeah. something that you just wouldn't think of doing because if I was yeah. if you said we're going to do that ribbon I would have been like oh okay so I've got to draw <laughs> one side of it and then I've got to do the other side of it but the thing about having the two pens together as well is is that freedom it's mm. not just the fact mm. that you can get two lines together. It's you, you, you just felt free going, woo. Yeah. It's almost like yeah. when we, uh, we did our thing last week and you said, just do a squiggle on the page because then um, then the page is kind of marked. So then you don't be yeah. anxious about it. 
yeah absolutely that's the same thing yeah just that doing that take my guard down from my computer now after <laughs> the splash <thing. laughs> the computer safe and actually you haven't made too much of a mess you've been quite it's been quite contained <laughs> very contained and you know where it's going to go on my Up on the wall, wall. Left. <laughs> Lovely. Well, listen, thank you so much, Gary. Um, to our lovely YouTubers, if you have enjoyed our content, you know what we're going to do. We're going to ask you to please hit the like button. Um, it just helps us. If you interact with us, it helps us to get the message out there. And if you've enjoyed this, then somebody else will enjoy it. And so you're going to help that person find us because there is so much content on YouTube that you just get buried. So if you could just please hit the like button. If you could just drop an emoji below or a comment or anything, that would be fantastic. Uh, even more help and of course if you subscribe to the channel and then hit the little bell the notification bell you'll know when we have loaded we upload every friday it varies in times but we do upload every friday a little task for you and we'll be back with another tea time tutorial next friday if you are however a sewist we have got so many sewing videos on the channel proper proper sewing people not me i have got some learning with gary but we've got people doing blocks and things like that and also as well interviews with people in including Gary. Um, so you can find out more about our lovely teachers at Crafty Monkeys. And of course, if you want to know more about Crafty Monkeys, craftymonkeys.com, the link is below. So come and take a class with us. Come and take an art class with the lovely Gary Mills. Uh, they run on Wednesdays once a month, and it's a, a great fun way to meet people and do things like this, but in a lot more depth. So thank you so much, lovely Gary. Um, any ideas what we're doing next time? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I was so glad. Yeah, but you know something? That's part of it as well. This is not some kind of year long course that you have to get all your materials for and subscribe to. This is like people dip in and just play a video from us. It's the same with us, Gary. We see right. something that we're inspired by and then we come up with a little routine, a little exercise. That's what it's about. It's about just jumping in and having a go. <laughs> And we do it very well. Right. I'm going to drink the rest of my tea mm. and slurp. And we will bid you adieu. So thank you very much, lovely YouTuber. And thank you to Gary. We'll see you next time.